and I'm back. How's it going guys and gals in the gaming community? Oh, it's been busy, busy, busy the last couple weeks. Um, a lot's going on here in the studio in the evenings, uh, after work, of course. Um, Napoleonics uh, with Waterloo from Warlord Games. They're going great. Uh, the kit, the, the models go together really well. Um, they're actually really fun to paint. Um, I think one of the tricks that I've learned is I didn't build everything all at once. I'm doing small batches. So I did, I'm usually doing about 10 or 14 um, infantry. Then I built six uh, <coughs> cavalry. Then I built some more infantry. I've kind of been bouncing around. Um, I'll cut to another segment here in just a minute and I'll pan around and show you some of the progress of what's been going on. Picked up a new battle mat for the 6x4 table. Uh, the the old games workshop mat that I had on it was it, it was worse for the wear starting to get discolored and <laughs> other you know spills and things on the on the mat so I just went ahead and bought a new battle mat. I'll show you that and <clears throat> really uh just uh, plugging away slowly at the uh, water, the Waterloo starter kit. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, basically the long and short of uh, what I've been hobbying with the last uh, couple of weeks since my last studio update. Um, so, airbrush is working well. I do have some issues with the little valve uh, from time to time if I don't have the pressure set right. Um, I have to mess with it a little bit. That would be my only complaint about the whole airbrush purchase. <clears throat> the airbrush works fine. The little plunge valve that they have between the the the, uh, the airline and the brush itself, there's a little uh, valve that you have to mess with it to get it to to release the air. <clears throat> once I get it start, once I get it to start working, it's uh, it works fine. But so. Uh, yeah, I'll probably get online on the Master Airbrush and buy a new valve that seems like I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know if this, the spring doesn't have enough uh, spring to it. I can't figure out <clears throat> what could be causing it. Um, so really that's the only issue I've had. So I'm either going to pick up a new valve for this airbrush or I'm going to take the plunge and just get a nicer airbrush. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'll keep you posted on that, but overall it works great. I love using it. You can see over here I've got my first batch of Calvary. I built them together and then I realized the horse's bridles are black leather, so I went and wanted to go with a dark uh, primer coat and that would make it a lot easier to do all the bridles and the strapping, <clears throat> so which makes it go a lot quicker. So. You can see with this batch here, uh, the horses are are black primer and the riders are on separate caps and they are white. So uh, that's working out really well. Uh, it turns out I did not for the uh, for the French light cavalry. If you guys are getting this kit, um, I'll show you what I purchased. I couldn't get. I have several shades of green, of uh, Vallejo green, and I just couldn't get the right. Um, shade combination for the light cavalry uniforms which are green so I will share that with you here real quick um, I had to pick up two extra colors to make that scheme on the light infant or the light cavalry work it's the Vallejo deep green number 970 perfect color it's more like a Kelly green <clears throat> And it's really hard to, to mimic that color with mixing other types of greens. I tried and tried and tried and I just couldn't get it right. It was either too olive or it would be too green. Uh, so that's what I ended up getting. Uh, a tip to Warlord Games, if anyone from Warlord Games is watching this, please, with your kits or online, have you do have some stuff on, on your website, but breaking down for each... Uh, kit and each unit what colors uh, we need to, to get the correct color matches uh, for, Valle for Vallejo um, but I ended up getting a flat yellow um, 
so that I could get their cuffs. Their cuffs are, are a yellow and around their uh, the, <clears throat> the piping on their collars and lapels and stuff are all yellow. So this is flat yellow, uh, 95953. <clears throat> Those are the two colors you want, guys. So basically everything's going together well. I really like the kits. The only thing was I had to really do some searching to find what other guys out there are using for their colors <clears throat> for some of the units, uh, which was kind of not good. Now we got this guide here, and I refer to it, I have it next to my paint table, and I'm constantly looking at it, making sure I'm getting you know a good color scheme. Uh, so it's got photos, but it doesn't have like, uh, and I got, you know, Shea Battlefront is getting really good at this. At the back of these little books, when you get a kit, Battlefront puts the, the how to do the colors, what Vallejo colors to use. Uh, so that would be the only thing that I would see that Warlord needs to improve upon is better color guides uh, for their for their units. Other than that, I've been really impressed with it. I've glanced through the rules, kind of gone over the basics. <clears throat> you see over here on my table, I do have units on the table. Um, so I'm going to, once I get a little bit more painted, I'll be able to do some play testing of the rules with the Napoleonics. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comments section, um, you know, are you working on Napoleonics? How did you like, uh, switching over to Napoleonics? Personally, I thought, oh, you know, I'm going to get caught bogged down in all this, you know, assembly line painting which you do but my tip to you is to break it into small if you build it the whole kit and you have it all on your paint table you're going to be overwhelmed and breaking up into small bite-sized pieces has been really nice and then switching so i could do i do a little infantry i do a little cavalry i've done a little bit of artillery uh, i did the heroic characters then I bounced back and did some more infantry. So <clears throat> that would be my big tip. Uh, break it off into little bite-sized pieces. Um, I've got cavalry here ready to go. I've got more British infantry on the table right now. I'm going to start today. And uh, I will grab the camera here. We'll do a, a quick close-up. I'll show you all around the shop here what I've been working on. Okay. We're going to start here at the paint desk. So I've got my British infantry lined up. I'm really, really liking using the Gatorade caps, guys. That's <clears throat> the, the biggest issue is you can turn them and get up, you know, get in every little nook and cranny. It really helps you hold on to the miniature and not drop it as much, um, and can really help you um, not handling the fig while he's wet with paint. You see I got them uh, base coated in the white, which I prefer for my infantry and my uh, troops. It, I think it makes the uniforms a little brighter. And uh, <clears throat> the other issue with the white with the Napoleonics is a lot of their strapping for their packs and whatnot are white. So this helps uh, with your white layer. So you've got a light coat already <clears throat> instead of the gray or the black. And it really helps you knock this, uh, the, uh, oh, the strapping out so that it's not so difficult. I think these are really fun to paint, honestly. They're really, really fun to paint. Um, and they paint up pretty quick. I've, you know, knocked, I'm using probably eight total colors. Um, gray for the, you know, medium gray for the pants, flat red for the jackets. Then I'm going in with the black for the hats. Um, the boots, some of the other trims, some of their accoutrement is in black, you know, the, the guns and the new wood, um, and then I'm doing flesh, the final color would be flesh, then I do a, a, a brown wash, and then I go back in and start doing my highlighting and I'm basically done. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, something else I'm going to show you here real quick on the paint table, guys. This is a, a new way that Army Painter, I went ahead and picked up a couple packs because I'm starting to get a little low on my Army Painter brushes. The most wanted kit. Now these are the, when I found this, I want to make sure I grabbed a couple of them. Uh, this is another Amazon purchase uh, that has the three brushes I use pretty much all the time. You've got your dry brush, 
you got your detail brush, and you got the regiment brush, right? And I find that <clears throat> with the Napoleonics, I'm using a lot of the detail brush. Um, so uh, I use the regiment probably 30% of the time, and the, the, the other 70% of the time I'm using the the, uh, the detail brush. So you can now buy all three of these brushes in a kit, 15 bucks. And you can't beat that. There's red sable hair brushes. I mean, you're just not going to beat that price. So that's kind of how I'm rolling right now. This is how I've got my setup. And over here on the, the build table, I've got my light cavalry. This is the last of them. I've already done six. This is the final six uh, that come with this kit. So I've got them ready to go. I've got my build tools reorganized. And I can sit here pop in a movie or a video and knock out my builds. Now, over here I've got my basing materials for my basing. i got my bases here as I need them. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Get some more of my tools uh, nice and organized. And then I can spin over here and I can hit the airbrush table. Now, <clears throat> something I had mentioned in a previous video is I did go ahead and get a, a bag of bottles. You can see about the size. I believe they're 100 mil. Uh, they've got the twist tops. You can get those on Amazon. 15 bucks for 20 of them. I got them in a bag like this. I'll show you. They just come in a big bag. You can use them from all kinds of things. I've got my my wood glue that I use for my basing uh, in one. Um, so I can use that little pointy tip. It's really great at getting that glue into the crevices of the bases. That's working really, really well. So I went ahead and used my mat if I want something that's got a little bit of a shine. Uh, I got a bottle of water I can use for thinner, which is distilled water. Uh, airbrush cleaner, honestly guys, the way I, what I'm using for airbrush cleaner is just distilled water with a few drops of soap in it. I'm not even using the rubbing alcohol. Um, my white my white primer. So I went ahead and relocated all those uh, previous bottles into the, the drop bottles. And then this is what I've gone to guys for the... I picked up a couple bottles of this. It's six bucks. It's an ounce, but it does need watered down some, I found. And this is the new flat, acrylic flat. It's the same finish as dull coat. I highly recommend it. I found that this matte top coat that I purchased was a little too shiny. I'm going to still use it for some projects, but this is what I'm using now to get that nice flat finish and to help protect the models, uh, the paint on the models. I highly recommend it. It's called Micro Flat. You need to check it out. You can also apply it with a brush, of course. You don't have to use an airbrush. But, uh, yeah, this is this is what you want. It's I did a lot of searching online. This is the best stuff out there. Uh, you know, a lot of the different a lot of the different companies, including Tamiya. <clears throat> a lot of guys are saying it's dull, got too much of a shine. Even their flat acrylic, they say, is too shiny. So this I just used. It is not shiny. It is perfectly flat. It's the exact same finish as dull coat. Okay, so uh, still got my setup over here for flames still working at that and then here's my new battle mat another Amazon purchase that works really well it's not the cheap vinyl it's like a giant mouse pad so it's kind of rubbery uh, it's nice and soft and it's easy to move the units so I got some of my French here and you can see they just slide very smoothly on the top of the table so it's easy to move the units around I got some of my light cavalry. I've got some Brits painted already with the leader that comes with the Waterloo kit. Um, and my artillery unit that has been painted uh, turned out really well. Here's your specialty fig that comes with the Waterloo kit. He's out there by himself ready to kick some butt. And uh, <clears throat> also looking pretty good and uh, pleased with how things are coming along for the Napoleonics. Um, so I've got my staging table over here. You can see I've really whittled it down. There's my empty sprues. Uh, so I've got my... Oh, I'm trying to think of the... 
the infantry unit that is what these are the the uh, German infantry that came with the Brits and then uh, more Brits and more French uh, so that's it guys that's about all I have going on in the studio right now um, so I want to encourage everybody to keep on painting keep on building and keep on wargaming ciao